Hello guys! Welcome back again to our YouTube channel, Han and Kai. So today's video, another information or continuation about the last three views or the last vlog that we shared here about the visit visa family friends from Philippines to Sweden. So this information is about for the sponsorship from your host so our sponsor from sweden so one of the requirements that you really need to provide is the letter of guarantee or invitation form so itong document na ito ay ang magpaprocess ay galing or makukuha nyo itong document na ito from your host or sponsor in sweden so yung next video na i-provide natin dito or ipapakita natin dito ay yun yung information or flow and how to answer the letter of guarantee or invitation form from Sweden. So doon din natin ipapakita kung paano nyo ito makukuha and paano nyo rin ito ipaprocess from your host or paano nyo ito sa kanila ituturo. Or if you are the host or the sponsor, it's more easier for you to understand how to get this document for your um, invitee. So let's proceed to our next video that we will share here with you. So after watching the Visit Visa Sweden from Philippines on how to apply, we believe that this video is your next part on how to get the letter of guarantee or invitation form. Of course, first let's go to Google and type the letter of guarantee invitation form for Sweden from Philippines. So here I'm typing the letter of guarantee form. Sundan nyo lang itong flow na to and you will proceed to this information. So yan na type ko na and then lalabas yung invitation before application for Shenyan visa. So yan yun guys. Yung for information invitation letter. Click nyo yan guys. So once you click that link, you will proceed to the next is the actual invitation form or letter of guarantee. So on this part, on the upper part or page, first page is uh, there's an information on how to fill up and how to process the letter of guarantee. So kindly read it before you fill up the form. Okay? Lalo na kung especially if you are the invitee or host that will fill up this form for your uh, for the applicant or for your sponsor. So the letter of guarantee has three pages. So iisa-isahin natin yan kung ano yung nakalagay sa letter of guarantee. So after you reading the first higher page, Nakalagay naman dito is the personal details. So, who is the personal details? Of course, your host or your sponsor in Sweden. So, the one who will sponsor your trip going to Sweden. Put or encode or type the personal details. What's the name, passport, birthday, home address, yan. So, on the second part is if... Your sponsor is working or kung ano yung uh, information niya about her, his or her employment in the second part. So, in the third part is the applicant. So, kung sino yung invite mo sa Philippines or kung sino yung the applicant sa Philippines. Personal details niya din. And, Yung details of visit, kung kailan siya magta-travel, what is the passport, name, birthday, and yeah. How long is the stay, and uh, what's the purpose of the stay, and what is the relationship from the host and the applicant. So you need to inf put here the information needed. So may nakalagay naman dyan na, uh, sa number 5, financial details Relating to the visit. Kung sino yung mag uh, babayad ng lahat ng expenses 
or kung sponsor siya, may nakalagay na applicant, or if you are the one guarantee for all the expenses of your invitee, then put me. Or if there's another person, input mo kung sino yung person na yun. So in number six, your personal relationship with the applicant. For example, partner, fiancé, GFBF, spouse, relatives, children, yan. So yan yung ilalagay nyo sa relationship with the applicant. If not related, then nakalagay naman dyan. If no, how do you know one another? So you need to explain. And how long have you been know each other? So, need nyo i-justify paano nyo nakilala yung host or your sponsor in Sweden. Or the applicant. Kung sino yung mag-fill up ng form na ito. So the number seven is personal details of the applicant so it's from the philippines again kung sino yung applicant anong status ninyo nakalagay is married unmarried engaged divorce yan or widow so in number 7 as well may nakalagay diyan how do the applicant support him or herself in his or her country that he will return back to philippines so, dito papasok yung proof of strong ties. If you are employed, if you are student, or self-employed. So, may nakalagay dyan kung anong type of leave of absence, and if you are employed, ilagay niyo yung full details. And then, if you are also student, may nakalagay naman dyan. So, nakalagay din dito kung nakapag-travel na by yung applicant within the last 5 years in Sweden and if he, he or she have a relative so you just only need to answer yes or no then if the, if the applicant also have the insurance just click yes or no so they will ask as well if you are only planning to visit Sweden or you are planning to visit other Europe as well so type mo lang dito if you are planning to visit Sweden or other Shenyan country like Germany, Italy, France and so on on this part just type no on this has or he or she permission to travel in that country so, now, so if you are not sure on this part what the, is the answer what do you need to type? Just let it blank if you're not sure to answer on this part. So on number 8, other information. So there's also an uh, information or question in the upper part that if, you, uh, if you're not relative to this person, so you can also type here to justify the information needed. Or for example, we are requesting a multiple Shenyan visa for 90 days so you can also visit the other Shenyan country that you like to visit here in Europe rather or other than Sweden. So other information then is fully sponsored with my partner, relative, friends, or parents. It's also not my first time but second time visit visa here in sweden so that's the additional information you can put here in number eight so rather than the invitation form or letter of guarantee that you need to provide for your applicant or as a host or sponsor these are the additional documents that you must enclose so you need to provide this kind of documents as well for your applicant. So kindly read the information as well here that they needed. We also in share it as well in the 
first vlog that we made for Sweden. So number nine, you also need to read again because you need to sign this information as the guarantee or proofing that you, whatever happened for the expenses and once he, up, he or she approved the applicant granted a visa, this is their assurance. So kindly read this information as well. So after fill up this form and sign by your host and sponsor, then include the additional documents needed rather than the invitation letter or guarantee letter of guarantee. Then he or she can scan or email this document to the applicant in Philippines. If he can afford to send it original, then you can do it as well. But it's not needed naman original. So better na lang then yung uh, scan copy na lang para mas easier for both of you. And then, once na nasend mo na, kindly printed this document to the applicant and submit it as well. So ganun lang kadali guys mag-fill off ng invitation letter. So hopefully nakatulong itong vlog namin sa inyo on how to gather the documents needed for your Schengen visa application in Sweden from the Philippines. So kindly subscribe on our YouTube channel kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe. And